Hi everyone, welcome back. We are on day 15 of the 31 Days of Halloween series here on my channel and we're going to kick it off today with a Wednesday Adam inspired Manny. We're going to be using gel polish so to start off I'm going to go ahead and do a layer of gel base on all of the nails that we're going to be adding that gel polish to. I'm only going to do this one nail here on camera and I'm carrying as we go for 30 seconds because after we apply this gel base we're going to go into a dip powder called Joseph Craxton and this dip powder right here is part of a collection. It is the Wednesday Adam Inspired Dip Powder Collection, which is by far phenomenal. And you can get this color individually or in the entire collection. So real quick, check out this first dip. It is so pretty. It has this very like jet black base to it. And then it has a chunky glitter. And there's like black pieces of glitter in there. There's green. There's like a midnight blue. Overall, it is stunning. And then after I went ahead and dipped into that cupcake liner, because we are doing the gel method today, I'm just carefully cleaning up that nail and gently pressing down those glitters before we go ahead and cure for 30 seconds. After I cured it, I dust it off and then we can go back in with that gel base. And then we're going to go ahead and dip back into that cupcake liner here and wait till you see the second dip. It just completely is a game changer and this is such a fun, unique color, especially for spooky season. But I really like how it has this black base. And then we pull in these beautiful like greens and navies to it. It's overall just a gorgeous dip powder and everything does lay really flat so I'm just going to spend a little bit of time here just to make sure that I am cleaning up those sidewalls and the free edge making sure that all those larger glitter pieces are more focused um, like in the middle more and not hanging off directly on that free edge just so we have a really nice transition and everything is laying really flat and then I'm just going to gently keep pressing everything down until everything is laying how I like it because once you cure it it is is cured so if you have anything like lifting up or sticking up that's how it's going to cure and then you're going to have um more you're going to have to spend more time like filing and buffing so i find if i take extra time and just making sure everything is perfect before i cure it we're going to be good to go all right so i cured that and then i just wanted to add a few more sparkly glitter pieces here to the nail nothing too crazy i literally am only adding like three pieces here i just wanted to pull in a little bit of extra color in some of the areas that were a little bit darker or there was one spot that I kind of had a bare spot there um, so that's why I'm adding just a few here but nothing crazy if you wanted to add more you totally could but overall I just applied that gel base and then I applied those three glitters I cured it for 30 seconds and now we're going in with Wednesday which is a HEMA free gel product and that gel base that we used in the beginning of the video was also HEMA free so we're going in with the first coat here of Wednesday and I can tell you right now that I'm already obsessed with this color for two reasons because well, it has a seashell finish and I really like how it gives almost like this pearlness to it, but it's like a very subtle like glaziness to it. And I really like this yellow. <laughs> okay. And the third reason the name Wednesday is pretty awesome, but I really like this formula here. If you have not tried anything from Sendara Nails, all their gel products are HEMA 21 free. So if you've ever experienced a gel allergy, these are fantastic. They also do not have that like strong chemical scent to them. They don't like have a scent at all, which I prefer that when I'm working with gels. The last thing I, I cannot handle is anything strong smelling when I'm doing my nails. All right, so I am curing as we go for 30 seconds, and we're going to go in with a second coat here and wait till you see it. It's a total game changer. This color just comes to life. It is everything, and I feel like this color is not only good for like spooky season, but this is a great color, especially for the holidays coming up and for spring, but how gorgeous is the second coat? It's everything, right? Oh, I love it so much. So right here, you're going to be able to see the difference between two coats versus one. I am going to go ahead and do the rest off camera. Here are the two coats and that sparkly nail. And then before we go in with the decals here, I'm going to seal up everything with a layer of gel base. And then we're going to cure that for 30 seconds. Also, if you're looking for nail lamp suggestions, I get a couple questions throughout the week about what is the best nail lamps. I've tried quite a few since I'm completely obsessed with the gel method. And I 
do have two listed in my description box that are my ride or die. All right, so I'm just finishing up here that gel base on the Wednesday yellow nails first. I wanted to make sure I kept those as pure as possible. I did not want to risk getting any of these sparkles from the dip powder nail onto that Wednesday nail. So that's why I'm doing the gel base on that glitter nail last. All right, so that's curing and it's time to add some decals. Now when working with decals, picking the decal is probably like the hardest part for me. And I also like to cut and have everything ready for placement so I can just rock out the decals. So I am using room temperature water. I place that decal in that room temperature water for about 15 seconds and then I went ahead and used the jelly stamper, removed that backing, and now I'm just gently with a delicate hand moving around that decal to where I want it. Now I have a little bit of lines um, and wrinkles on that decal, that is completely normal. We are gonna go ahead and tap those out here with my favorite flat brush ever. I literally like order one of these anytime I place an order. I'm obsessed with this flat brush. It had a little bit of acetone on it and I just like gently pressed it down onto that decal to remove any of those air bubbles. You're gonna see that process here a lot while we finish these manis, um, why we finish <laughs> these manis, why we finish these decals on these nails. But this is by far the best method that works for me when I'm working with decals. Now we're moving on to this iconic decal right here. This is the Dancing Wednesday uh, decal sheet. Now how how do you get these exclusive decal sheets if you get the whole entire collection of the Wednesday inspired dip powder collection from send our nails you get this exclusive decal sheet which is in collaboration with my favorite nails truly co and you also get a cuticle oil in there from glitzy oil co which is super awesome it's a great bundle the price is just right um, I will have everything linked in that description box below and I do have a discount code as well that you can always find in that description box as well so we're moving on to this decal right here this is more of like a full coverage it's a spider web I love it and I really like how the Wednesday gel polish is for the background of all these decals it just is just super fun something different so with this one I'm just gonna carefully take that flat brush again that's dipped in acetone and I'm just gonna carefully melt away um, all that extra decal that's hanging off the side you can trim it with a manicure scissors if you would like but I don't want to risk uh, cutting it off too much or anything like that so that's why I'm just gonna take a little bit of extra time here and just kind of melt everything down and have it become one with the nail here but again just take your time when you're working with decals and you're gonna love the end result it's just an easy way to implement some nail art um, and overall it just looks really awesome especially these decals and I'm just having so much fun with this Wednesday collection. So here is that full coverage one right here with the spider web. It's very spooky and I love it so much. All right, so we're gonna go in with this like little goblin kind of thing. So originally I was only gonna place one of these little guys on the nail, but then after placing it, I was like, okay, we totally need to add another one here. So I'm gonna move this guy kind of like up to the cuticle line area and we're gonna go ahead and add one more to the nail to kind of like tie in everything. So you notice how this backing of the decal is coming off really easily. Um, that's what you wanna look for when you're working with decals. If that backing is not coming off like you see right there, go ahead and stick that decal back in the water for about like five seconds. All right, so I went ahead and added another one of those little guys on there and I feel like it just tied in this pinky nail perfectly. And then again, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that same flat brush with acetone and just carefully press that decal down to the nail. Now again, you just wanna make sure you have a gentle hand with this method, cause you do not wanna remove any of that decal image on the top with that acetone. Then to finish everything up, we're gonna go ahead and do a layer of gel top coat here on all of the nails. That's really when you're gonna see everything come to life, especially with this dip powder accent nail that we did, which by the way, this color is everything. And I'm curing as we go for 60 seconds, and this gel product that we're using as well is HEMA free. And this top coat also has a really gorgeous shine to it. So here's the finished Manny. I'm completely in love with how this turned out. There is something about these colors and the shell finish from that Wednesday gel polish and then that Joseph Craxton dip powder color with the, just the black base with those pops of like those rich like blues and greens. It is everything and I really like how it has like chunky and like the smaller pieces in there so it really gives that nail a lot of dimension and it's the perfect accent nail we have like a simple kind of manny color going on but with that pop of that dip powder right there it just totally just like 
is my Manny right now. And then we have decals. And overall, this was just a really fun Manny to create. And I kind of like switching things up using like best of both worlds, some gels and dip powders. I know some of you are not into gels, but um, the dip powder that we use today is definitely something that you need in your life. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and link everything that we use in today's Manny in that description box below. Also, that image that you saw pop up in today's video, that is going to be the image you need for the Google entry form today for that giveaway. Again, we are on day 15, so don't forget to enter in that giveaway, and I'll see you all in the next upload.